folks. Making the hike to check my uh, camera at my family's property. This is a different property that we uh, introduced there about a week ago. I just put some of the BTI mineral out and uh, some other groceries like uh, some greens and some other grain. And uh, we'll go ahead and check it now. Uh, I was doing the intro for this site before and I uh, stayed in there a little too long, jumped up a couple of deer while I was in there, so I figured I'd uh, get in touch with you while we're on our way into this spot and uh, get in and out as quickly as possible and I hope no, nobody even knew we were there. So uh, this will be the first card pull for this camera this year. We, had a, we didn't have a whole lot of big buck activity in this spot last year. Some uh, small spikes and fours. Um, then we had a couple basket sixes and eights, but we had one buck in particular that I'm really curious to see if he's still in the area. He was actually a big, typical six point, but larger than your average six. I was thinking, man, if he makes it through to this year, he might be a shooter this coming year. So hopefully we got a little action from him in this week that we've had the camera out. So we'll get in here, check the card, and throw a few more groceries out for him. Folks, it's about 4.40, November 6th. We're sitting in a new setup that I put up about two days ago. Uh, I decided to throw this blind up on the other property in the county that I actually backed out of this summer because there wasn't much activity due to clearing a new power line right away. Uh, contacted the family and they said that there, there were a couple of pretty good looking bucks coming through the property now, so I decided that I would uh, set the cameras out put a blind up and see what was going on and we sat here this morning before I checked the cameras at all and uh, I had an opportunity to pretty nice deer uh, it came out right at first light so I didn't have really ample light to fully judge this deer to see if I wanted to take him or not so I had him at 25 yards but I just decided to see if he would stick around for a little bit, but he was on a mission. He was in the field for no more than two minutes, and by the time there was enough light, he was on the other side of the field, and I realized that I should have shot him. But I checked the cameras after the morning hunt, and there were two pretty nice ones that I would call shooters. Uh, one's an eight, one is a potential nine. Small point on the main beam there. I've had both of these deer in the last two nights, uh, right in the last bit of shooting light, so we're going to sit through this wind. It's pretty windy today, about 14 mile an hour winds, a lot windier than it was this morning, so it's probably going to have these deer hold up till right at dark, so we're sitting about what I would think is about a half hour from the first push of deer out into this field, so we're going to sit it out and see if we can't pick one of these two off. So stick with us and see what happens.
that last second. My gosh. I don't even know if we got that on film because the light got so low, but I've been saying this since I started this deal. Hunter before cameraman. This is the same deer we had a shot at this morning. And I just smoked his butt. He crashed in sight. It kind of scared me at first. He didn't take off like uh, a deer normally should. He didn't mule kick or take off like crazy. He just kind of trotted, stopped, did a complete circle, and crashed in sight. I'm still going to give him a little bit of time before we go out, and I'm going to get a hold of some of the other Game Over members. Alright, here's the arrow. Tripan did a pretty good job. Well, here he is. We had an opportunity at this deer this morning, but where I hadn't done much recon out here lately, I uh, I didn't want to take the shot in the low light, not knowing exactly what I was shooting. And so we came back this evening, and it was getting down literally the last last minutes of shooting light, camera light, and uh, the doe just, she came out of the brush the same path that he went back in this morning and he was soon to follow and he kind of bumped her, bumped her a little bit when he walked into my range. I knew if it wasn't then it wasn't going to happen because he was going to take off after her. But, so I stopped him, it was about a 25 yard shot, double lung, some heart there. Ended up being a nine point, pretty impressive brow tines. Almost touched together in the center. It's been a heck of a comeback year for me. Uh, been, this is the third year since I fell out of the tree stand and, and I, it's been itching at me for a little bit and I finally decided to get back into it this year. And man, it's been a heck of a year. <laughs>